Hello there! It's the Easy Engineering once again. For today's topic, we are going to talk about Pythagorean Theorem. Before we proceed to our topic, let's draw first a right triangle. Right triangle is a triangle in which one angle is a right angle which means 90 degrees. It is also consists of two legs and a hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the longest side of the right triangle. Now how is this related to Pythagorean Theorem? Pythagorean Theorem says that the hypotenuse has a special relation to the other two sides of the right triangle. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the two sides. Just remember that this equation can only be applied to the right triangle only. Let's say this right triangle has a length of A, B, and C, where A and B are the two sides and C is the hypotenuse. So using the Pythagorean theorem, the equation of this right triangle will become c squared equal to a squared plus b squared. Now let's take this example. If you have a right triangle whose sides are equal to 4 and 6, find the hypotenuse of the triangle. As we can see, the side c is the hypotenuse, therefore we can use the Pythagorean theorem, which is hypotenuse squared equal to the sum of the squares of two sides. So the equation will become c squared equal to 6 squared plus 4 squared. 6 squared means 6 will be multiplied 2 times and 4 squared also means 4 will be multiplied 2 times. Therefore, the equation will become c squared equal to 36 plus 16. So c squared is equal to 52. In order to find the c, we need to take the square root of both. Therefore, the square root of 52 is 2 square root of 13. So the hypotenuse is equal to 2 square root of 13 or approximately 7.2. Now for an, another example. A ladder of 14 meters long is placed on the ground in such a way that it touches the top of a vertical wall of 13 meters high. Find the distance of the foot of the ladder from the bottom of the wall. Take a look at the picture. You can see that the ladder which is placed on the ground and touches the wall forms a right triangle. Therefore, we can easily find the distance of the foot of the ladder to the bottom wall. Now let A equal 13 meters which is the hypotenuse equal to 14 meters and B is the other side of the triangle which is the unknown. So according to Pythagorean theorem, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Therefore, by plugging in the values, the equation will become 14 squared equal to 13 squared plus b squared. Since we need to find the value in variable b, we need to transpose the equation. Therefore, the equation will become 14 squared minus 13 squared equal to b squared. So b squared is equal to 27. To find b, we need to take the square root of both sides, so it will become b is equal to square root of 27. Therefore, the distance of the foot of the ladder to the bottom of the wall is approximately 5.2 meters. So now that you finally know the Pythagorean theorem, I encourage you to pause this video first and try to solve this problem. Jane is a firefighter saving a cat that is trapped at the top of the tree. She leans a 10 meters ladder against the tree. The base of the ladder is 3 meters from the top of the tree. Now how high is the cat? So we can use the Pythagorean theorem in solving this problem. The hypotenuse in the problem is the height of the ladder which is leaning in the tree and the other side of the triangle is the distance of the ladder to the tree. Now we are asked to find how high the cat is. Therefore using the equation c squared equals to a squared plus b squared, we can now find how high the cat is. So the equation will look like this. Therefore, the cat is at 9.54 meters high. Do we have the same answer? So what can you say about the Pythagorean theorem? Easy, right? That's it guys. I hope you learned a lot about Pythagorean theorem. You can also watch our other videos here. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. We make engineering topics easy and fun for you.